How's it going, Eliminators? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to easily diagnose an engine with a stuck valve, and then showing you how to quickly free it up. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So today in the shop, I have this Honda powered pressure washer here. Looks to be like a Storm HG202B with a Honda five horsepower GC160 engine and the customer said that it just won't start and they noticed that it backfires out of the intake so they brought it in for me to look at see if I can get it fixed up. Now when an engine is backfiring out of the air box generally that means that the flywheel key has been sheared and there is ignition and therefore combustion is happening at the wrong time specifically when the intake valve is open and it's forcing that explosion up through the intake manifold through the carburetor and out of the air box now one of the other causes of a backfire can also be a stuck open valve let's say that the intake valve on this side of the engine intake valve and then exhaust valve would be here next to the muffler the intake valve if it was stuck open would be allowing that combustion to escape out of the air box so there's a quick way to test for that and i'll show you how to do that now so one of the first things I've done here is I have removed the spark plug from the cylinder head. And then one of the things you can do is take a wooden dowel and insert it into the spark plug hole and then give your pull start cord a pull there and look for the wooden dowel to be moving up and down. That just lets you know that the piston is moving up and down, that the connecting rod is connected to the crankshaft and everything is spinning and that there's no internal damage. However, because we can hear a backfire coming out of the air box, I already knew that the piston was moving up and down. So the next test is going to be a simple compression test. If you're looking to diagnose something like a stuck valve, one of the easiest ways to do that is take your finger and place it over the spark plug hole and then pull on the recoil pull start and you should be able to feel your finger being sucked in to the spark plug hole and then you should feel the pressure build on the compression stroke and it will push your finger out of the spark plug hole. If it does not, then chances are you have either a stuck intake valve or a stuck exhaust valve and one or both of those valves could be stuck in the open position. So I placed my finger on that hole and I pulled over the recoil and I felt absolutely nothing. So I'm quite positive that I have a stuck intake valve. So what we're going to do is remove this overhead valve cover and then I'll bring you back on how to inspect that. And if you're having a hard time getting that overhead valve cover off, you can use a heat gun, put this onto the number two or the high setting and run this along the seam where the adhesive is, it will loosen it off and allow you to pull that cover off easily. So rotating this engine over by hand, you can see that the exhaust valve next to the muffler is opening and closing, moving up and down. However, the rocker arm on the intake valve is not moving, and that is because the intake valve is stuck downwards in the open position. Now, removing a rocker arm on one of these Honda engines is incredibly simple. They just pivot on this little rod here, and all you have to do is make sure that there is no stress or force applied to the rocker arm, and then you can simply just pull that rod straight out, just like that. We're doing this on the exhaust side, just to show you. And then you can remove the rocker arm from the cylinder head. Now with the piston at bottom dead center, you can simply just take a soft blow mallet and hit the top of the valve all the way down into the fully open position. Next up, using our little fork pry tool that you've seen me use in other videos, we're going to pry the valve up by the valve spring and top retainer. That's step two, and then we can repeat step one again to get that valve moving up and down. So after moving it around a little bit, up and down, you can tap that with a hammer just to get it freed up. The valve moves down in the valve guide on its own, and the spring tension returns it to the closed position. So with the intake rocker arm installed, we can pull the engine over and now both the intake and exhaust valves open and close nice and freely. Now, once you get the valve moving again and you check the tolerance of the valve to rocker arm clearance, you can go ahead and apply some black RTV silicone or use a gasket and then we'll reinstall this overhead valve cover. My customer did install a brand new spark plug, so I just double checked the gap on the spark plug there. Now I did check the oil level before turning this engine over by hand and it is slightly low, so I'm going to be adding just a little bit before we try and start this engine up. 
the reason that the intake valve most likely seized into the open position was because this engine was ran on low oil, which causes the engine to run hot. Things heat up, they expand, tolerances get tighter, and without proper lubrication, things can seize as shown in this video. And if you're wondering, the oil capacity for a Honda GC160 engine is 0.58 liters here in Canada. That is 580 milliliters of oil. Now these pressure washers, ideally you don't wanna run them too long without water hooked up, but I just wanna see if this thing will start and run. So the choke is now on. The throttle is set to the highest position. This recoil housing should be rotated so that you pull straight up, but I'll be pulling to the side here. So that's a good sign. That means that it runs on choke. So the valves are working perfectly fine. It's building compression. It's igniting, combusting, and running. So my guess now is it probably has a gummed up carburetor that needs to be cleaned because it was only running when the choke was on. I can try to start this thing up again and we'll see if maybe we can force that gunk that is probably in the main jet out of there. You guys can see a little bit of smoke from probably all the oil that we had in the top end there because I did have this thing tilted on its side, but it runs now. And as you can see, I was playing with the choke there. So when you engage the choke while it's running, what that does is it creates excess suction that is sometimes enough to pull out any clogs in the carburetor. It doesn't run perfectly, but my customer probably doesn't wanna spend a lot of money on this thing. And the only thing I've added was a little bit of fresh fuel and some RTV silicone. Both tires are completely flat and the beads have broken on both wheels. I don't know if the pump works, but my customer did say that this pressure washer was fully functional before it was put away. And then when they took it out, it wouldn't start. So it just goes to show you, don't run your equipment on low oil or else you can seize a valve, not good, but we were able to salvage this one and hopefully it lasts a few years and my customer gets their money out of it. Well, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Just a quick and easy repair. Like I said, you really don't wanna to spend too much time or money on an engine that's been run low on oil and had one of the valve seeds. And again, this isn't really the ideal way of fixing something like this, but at the end of the day, we got this engine running. My customer was very happy with it. I think this repair bill was only about $80 and my customer did get this back the same day. So they were super happy. And we did run the engine after I stopped filming. It did smooth out. It starts first pull. The pump works as well. We hooked the water up. So my customer was able to pressure wash their patio, their deck and the fence in the backyard. And they were very pleased with the quick repair. But with that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week. So be sure to stop on by next week. Check channel up for new content. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.